Because I think a next America's top model is not a plus size model. I'm sorry. That I'm starting to see that her skin on her face is already starting to get a little leathery. She was very skinny, which means it's she was cold. She got to the point where she couldn't even think straight and she started crying. Today I'm reacting to the very first photo shoot from cycle one of America's Next Top Model, where they make the girls stand in bikinis in the freezing cold on a rooftop. So let's take a look. <laughs> Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Robin, um, Keezy, and I found out that we were going to be late for a photo shoot. We had to find our own way there. So we run back upstairs, get the address, and we took a cab there. Okay, so these three girls came late. So they, like, woke up late. The other girls left without them. So I guess they're arriving. They had to find their own way to the photo shoot. The girls who actually made it to the shoot were able to go to hair and makeup first. Didn't even think anything about it. We figured the girls were right behind us. We were like on top of a roof and there was like snow. The wind was blowing. It was freezing. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Before I start, I just want to... Yikes. Everyone's in a blanket. Listen, if you have a situation where you're doing a photo shoot and, you, and it's that cold that people are bundled up like this... I mean, not a good, not a good start, right? Before I start, I just want to call a couple of girls forward: Robin, Kissy, Ebony, and Shannon. Would you guys to come forward just a little bit? Don't do it. Don't just stay where you are. I'd be like, huh? Who? That's not. That's not me. My name is not any of the people that you called. That's her. It's that person next. Jessica. Who was that? Okay, I was really upset. I heard that you four were late. And that's just not acceptable. Photo shoots are thousands of dollars. And time is money. It's 100% not acceptable. So if this was a normal shoot, a lot of you guys would have been sent home. We were being um, judged on being on time. I Honestly, she's right about that. I'm kind of glad she called them out because you cannot be late for a photo shoot, especially if you're a newer model and you're doing something for a brand or a campaign. It's just not going to be a good look. You show up late. There's people waiting on you and they usually have models come a little bit earlier sometimes even to do their hair and makeup to get everything done while a photographer might be like testing light or setting up. So it really, she she is right. It does cost thousands of dollars. It's a, it's a whole day or day's process. And there's a lot of preparation for it. So you definitely don't want to be late. She's right about that. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Today we're going to be doing swimwear. No. We're going to be doing it up here on the roof. No. We're all kind of just like, are they serious? I freaked out just because it was so cold. Uh, you may be wondering why we're shooting. Yeah, we yeah we are wondering why you're shooting outside in the cold. He's like, you may be wondering why we chose the winter time to put you in a bikini on this rooftop. Yeah, absolutely. that's literally the first, of, yeah, we wanna know, what's what's the excuse here? <laughs> Don't tell me he's gonna be like, because these will come out in the spring and we wanna finish everything. Then go to the Bahamas, then go to Jamaica. Why, why are you taking them to New York City on a rooftop if you're trying to shoot for like a swim campaign? Wouldn't you wanna be near the beach for that? Like, is, isn't it like a lifestyle type of photo shoot? Why are you bringing him on a roof? That's what, that's what I feel like he's gonna say, watch that, he's gonna say that. Swimwear is shot a season before, so we have to shoot it now. Yeah. Shoot it in Florida, dude. Why are you bringing them to the cold, one of the coldest states? See, I told you guys that's the reason why. I told you guys. I knew he would use this reason. I just knew it. Yeah. Welcome to the beautiful glamorous world of modeling. The one most common mistake that new models make is the sexier I move, the better the picture is going to be. It is all about this first. It's all about the face. You have to always be thinking about something. Like a dead eye is just kind of like, and then a, an eye that just has some fire is like, see how it just changes? No. You can create a character when you model. It's kind of like silent movies. You have to give it your best, give it your all out there and just work it. All right, and good luck in your first shoot. This is not the time for Tyra to be giving modeling tips. The girls are clearly freezing cold. Like when you're cold, all you're thinking about is I want to be warm again. This happens to be the coldest day in New York City. I've 8 degree wind chill. We've worked in a lot of cold weather. For this to be the worst conditions we've ever worked in, and this is their first time, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, so why are you doing it? It's 8 degrees, you guys. I'm going to convert this for everyone, everyone else in the world. Fahrenheit. Eight, 8 degrees Fahrenheit is negative 13 degrees 
Celsius. They're putting these girls in a bikini on a rooftop. It is absolutely insane to me. And even the photographers are saying this is the coldest weather that we've ever shot in. So I think this this tells you something here. These people have probably shot other campaigns, other things, and they're saying this is the coldest. Why? A model is more than just a pretty face. They really have to be confident inside. They really have to be able to give it in front of the, in front of the lens. All I'm going to say is this photographer is looking kind of toasty, giving us advice on the girls being in bikinis on this rooftop. Normally I wouldn't really care, but it was so cold. I get cold in the sun. I'm cold all the time. Nicole would listen to me, and that's an important thing in a model, is to be able to listen to the photographer. I was a little nervous, you know. Although also, what I'm thinking about is, as they're modeling in the cold, aren't they going to have, like, all these goosebumps? That's not going to really look good for a picture, like, when you're modeling a bikini, right? That's what I'm... Th I'm just saying, like, the, the environment, I think, should play a role in the photo. What? You, you want more treats, don't you? She wants treats. I just gave you... I was a little nervous, you know, all the other girls are so skinny. You know, I got a little bit more meat to me, but I had a blast. Yeah, we'll relax. Don't be cold. You know what, can you back up a little bit? Head down. Put your hands up. Once I get you the position that we like, don't move around so much because I got you over here and then you're like over here and then, okay. you know what I mean? There you go, that's it, totally, there you go, perfect. She probably had people teach her how to model the wrong way. That was her problem. Dude, this is the first episode. What do you mean <laughs> people teach her the, to model the wrong way? But also, I don't think the right way to model is to have someone actually like physically doing this and then kind of robotically maneuvering you. I don't think that's any better than what she was doing previously. I did notice Robin being a little modest in her bikini. She has a little more insulation than me. Oh. Oh. After her, one. All right, here we go. Robin is like 26 or 27 years old. I mean, how much farther is she gonna go? You know, because age is a big factor in the modeling world. Go like this. Okay. You know what I mean? This looks like it's you're great. like taking a crap or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? sweetie, where did, why is she giving these, I don't like the comments that she comes in randomly and she's like, it looks like you're, ta you're taking a crap. It's so wild to me to hear them say, oh, she's 25 or 26 years old. How much further is she going to get with modeling? When I have friends that age who are professional models who do some of the biggest campaigns, work with the biggest brands. It's just, it's crazy how times have changed since then. How they viewed age during this time in relation to modeling. Chin down, chin down. Hold that, you look amazing. Hold it. <laughs> Cold enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be okay until having to take off my blanket and the wind was just coming from every direction. It made it so much colder. All right, come on, Elise. <laughs> I'm just going to say this photo shoot sucks. <laughs> it's like the first episode and they're making them do this. Yeah. Nice. Hold that. Good. I had to drop my shoulder, keep my arm in, keep my fingers together and my thumb hidden while holding my high heel and sucking back snot. This is probably her first time shooting. So not only is she nervous, but it's so cold that she just can't give a look. I mean, yeah, it's her first time shooting and you put her in this environment. Plus, what when you are shooting in the freezing cold, you do tend like you will like have your a runny nose, you will have goosebumps. It'll be hard to move your fingers and your body. So it's it's very understandable why she would be struggling with this and and struggling modeling in this. She was very skinny, which means it's it, she was cold. She got to the point where she couldn't even think straight and she started crying. Elise, you know, she has a small petite body, so she probably can't keep warmth in. Elise couldn't handle it, but I did not complain. I ripped off my blanket and I said, okay, and I just went for it. Nice. But it was so cold. I mean, everything was numb from my 
ears to my hands to my feet to my butt to New York, hips out one way. I mean and that's the thing one model might be able to do something like this and another may not you can't say oh just because this model did a good job this model should be okay with it everyone's different and what they are able to tolerate if it's eight degrees outside I don't care who you are you're gonna be cold and it be any you're wearing a bikini and the worst part is they put them in heels I think the worst part out of all of this the heels Giselle did a great job. You can tell when a girl has practiced in the mirror. And look at me right here, pretty. Nice. She's beautiful, but she didn't really physically do anything that was spectacular. Okay, then you go up there and you do something better. Then show us, Elizabeth. Elizabeth really has a lot to say with her very comfortable jacket that's a very cute where'd you get your jacket from katie was one of the most difficult ones she couldn't seem to get everything right all at once at the same time now she's doing this number it was just back and forth back and forth back and forth good hold that don't move nice i think she was giving a little too much you know it was looking a little almost playboy-ish How's that looking? What do you think? The eyes are big again. I don't know what to say. I mean, I already Her told eyes you. are too big. They're too... I mean, the thing is, they're directing her. She's a new... Mo you guys have to consider, again, they're new models. They don't have a lot of experience. So they're, maybe they are just going off of what they think, like, the photographer wants. So don't... Like, let's not be too critical of, of the models here because they're out here. They're really trying their best. I'm just, I'm not understanding why they're blaming the girls. You are directing them. If you don't like the way that they're posing and you think it's looking a certain way, change, tell them to change up the posing. You, you have the power to just change the direction of what you, whatever. He's like, I'm the professional photographer, but I'm blaming her. This first time model. I don't know what to say. I mean, I already told her 20 times. It's not going to get any better. No. I don't think it will. He's like, I, what? This is this is so ridiculous. They're talking amongst themselves together, like instead of telling all of that information to the model that's standing right there. Do you guys see the issue here? They're not actually communicating with the models. They're kind of just like snickering in the background. Yeah, she did the eyes and this. He's like, I don't know what to say to her. Maybe say all that stuff that you just said to the to your to your partner. Just say it to the model. Problem solved. Everything right all at once at the same See, time. See, I'm watching now it again. He's he's, he's gonna say anything to her. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Good, hold that, don't move, nice. He's saying, hold that move, nice. I think she was giving a little. So he's he's praising her. You're literally saying, hold that move, nice. So if you're saying to hold a pose, that means you like it, you want to capture it. And then he's gonna criticize her after and say, I think she was giving a little bit too much. So then why don't you just adjust? <laughs> I don't understand. I just don't. I watched it back. I'm like, no, maybe like she wasn't taking the feedback, but I didn't hear him say anything. No. I don't think it was challenging. I think it was a great experience, and you know, I'll do it again anytime. Right, let's do this. Pull the hair from your chin around. Well, I don't have time to sit there and teach a model the model. Yeah. So she needs to bring something to the table. A couple more shots, and it's over. We can go warm. And that give me even more, like really fierce. I want to win this guy. Okay, but that's so, that's such vague advice. Give me fierce. What does that even mean to any of us? Also, he made a comment that I did not like. He's like, I shouldn't have to teach them how to model. She's not bringing anything to the table. Yeah, but I'm, so, I'm sorry, they don't have experience. You are working with a new model. And when you're working with new models, you need to expect that you will have to help them, give them ideas. You will need to adjust that. And that's just how it goes for photography. I've worked with brand new models in development for professional agencies. And this is exactly what I expect. I want to win this contest. Words cannot explain how bad I want to win. She started freezing up at the end there. I just couldn't get that facial expression. And that's that's really the selling point is it's in the eyes. You ready? You ready? Yeah, nice. Excellent. It's interesting that he's having these side interviews the photographer but then we hear him giving prey like a lot of compliments oh great good job nice 
hold that. That's all we're hearing. I'm not hearing like, oh, move your elbow or try doing this. I'm not hearing any of that. So I don't know why he's complaining. Like, you seem like you're you're getting the shots that you want. Yeah, nice, excellent. He said excellent. Easy to shoot. Most of the girls, they have in the body and then their face is so cold, they can't give the face. Well, her, she was able to give the face. I think everybody did a really good job considering the circumstances today. I'm thinking that it's, it's gonna be a tough competition comes, comes to the end of this. <laughs> I love how after all that, Elizabeth's like, I think everyone did a great job <laughs> considering that it was eight degrees outside. Like, the, but that's also, can we rewind the tapes back? Cause you didn't have that same energy for the, for the, for the photo shoot. Like you were not, but that's not what you were saying before, before that, this. You can literally hear the photographer saying, excellent, good job, hold that pose, all these things that indicate the photo shoot is going well. He's liking what the models are doing. And then he turns around and then he's like, oh, the doing to, oh, this is not good. And her face is freezing up and this and this. So that's these, it's not adding up, sir. I did the calculations. One plus one is neg point 0.3, negative point 0.3 right now. The math, it's not there. And I was never good at pre-calc. I'm just saying, like I barely made it into pre-calc. Okay, so let's go to the very first judging Wow, Histo we're, we're seeing history unfold. <laughs> Katie, you just had your first professional photo shoot and we've gone through all of your film. We found the best shot. Wow. My question. Okay. Do we, <laughs> do I? Yeah, I mean, it looks like she was copied and pasted in there. I mean, you could have easily done this in a studio green screen and then just put like the New York City skyline in the back. Wow. My question is, what were you thinking? Hooking your finger into into the bottom of the bikini? What were you thinking? You know what? I was just thinking that, you know, just just the look. I thought it was I nice, was on the cover know? of Sports Illustrated with my hands hooked. I'm a little insulted that you're saying that her hands yeah, are hooked. Cool. I know she's got a lot of work to catch up to you, Miss Thing. Okay. Anything? I'm glad that Tyra made that distinction. She's like, I actually did that. That was okay. This but this is this is a very different vibe to judging that I'm not used to. It seems more like banter, like back and forth. This is interesting. I like her in the picture. Again, the background doesn't match at all. Again, it just looks fake to me. I don't know why they cropped her head off at the top. She looks good though, I gotta say. Oh my God. That is so beautiful, I promise. I love it. What do you like about I don't know it? if it was luck on her part or confidence, but this is the second shot that we took on her. Okay, Miss Adrian. I like her pose. It's something a bit different. The background, I just don't. I, this photo shoot is just kind of like, it's it's different. I'll say, the angle with the the like it's kind of like a lower angle, and then the buildings are kind of like right behind her. I don't know, but I like I do like her pose. Can I ask you what size your phone is? Eleven. What? My nickname is Aircraft Carrier. Why would but you no, ask her? Like Why would you ask her her wh what shoe size she's wearing? That's so weird. What's your f what size are your feet? Like for, you're looking at a picture, sir. What do you? So it's not about the bikini. You want to know her shoe size, okay? So we're not selling bikinis for the spring. <laughs> Such a what a random question. The number about my feet didn't bother me at all because when there's a big woman, there tends to be a, a big base. Face is good, foot bad. This is giving me like beauty pageant, full body shot, like the bikini, the bikini section. What are they called? like the bikini portion of the show for beauty pageants? That's what I'm thinking of. That really, yeah, that's what I'm like. Yes, we could use that. Out of all the girls I photographed, I would say that Nicole gave it the most. She really hit it and kept working on her pose and giving me great angles on her body. Wow, I mean, she looks great in this. I just, I'm not really seeing a creative photo. I just feel like he had the girl stand there and he took a photo. Strong personality and it shows on your face and your poses and take this the right way you got to work on the thighs you got the booty thing you got to kind of you really watch the diet and exercise because it's not all about your gorgeous face it is about the booty too i think, no, I think she looks great i don't it's never too never too early on america's next top model for them to make these comments i don't really like these pictures the i mean the lighting is is nicely exposed but that's pretty much it 
nothing super creative about it. I mean, we're again, he the whole purpose of this was for the bikinis, you know, it's we have to shoot this in the winter for the spring. These are coming out in the spring. People need to see these in March or April and April. So I just I'm not seeing that sort of the the urgency here of creativity. I think you're very exotic and you have great long legs. The mole is gorgeous. Don't let anybody ever tell you to take it off. Giselle in person, not my favorite. But when I got you on film in front of the camera, she blew me away. Did he just say Giselle in person, not my favorite? <sighs> this man. And she's like standing right in front of him. She's like, hi, how are you? Not my favorite. Not my favorite. But the pi you in pictures, great. You here existing before me unsure the background looks is this even new york city <laughs> what is why did i think this was dubai for a second is that burj khalifa no i'm just joking i know what the bridge looks like i've been there before i'm just i'm just trying to make a i'm trying to be funny here you we're trying to lighten the mood <laughs> you really made the girls do all this risk their life in this freezing weather to come out with pictures like this my goodness She's rail thin. She is a waif. You know, the rib cages is coming a little through it, but you know, that's okay. She's only 18 years old. I like Shannon's personality. I think she glows. I think she's very comfortable. But uh, the negative thing I have to say about her is I could tell she tans a lot. And then I'm starting to see that her skin on her face is already starting to get a little leathery. I don't know. Stop. Sir, sir, you need to not see anything right now. This judging is a complete mess and these judges are out of control. This is, again, episode one. This was the starting point of the show. I think she's very comfortable. But uh, the negative thing happened. After, after all this, this man right here, he's like, but the negative thing I have to say, is it everything you've been saying negative? <laughs> Love how he has all this confidence to have all these opinions when he's the photographer of these pictures. Come on now, sir, come on. So the final photo they picked for Tessa was the one that the photographer posed her. And remember, he was doing one of these. Like, and he's like, okay, stay right there. So let's see what he has to say about it. Remember, he posed her. I don't necessarily think that that bathing suit, when she came out, was the most flattering on her. I'm always the one that stares away from anything that has to do with little clothes on. Like, I don't even like to be really in shorts. I always like try to cover up everything. I think you're the wrong, you're choosing the wrong profession if you don't want to be in little things or you try to cover up. Okay, then. Robin. Did he just... Did he just say that the bikini wasn't flattering on her? So, the, so, I will say though, this photo of Robin is divine. I absolutely love it. Number one photo. This this has to be the number one photo. If they say anything mean about this. Hey, Robin. Now, are we shooting for the large size category? Um, yes. Robin would represent a plus size model. One problem that I do have with Robin, I think on the top she's not plus size, and on the bottom she is. Quite honestly, 26 is a little late to be busting into the top model game. Mm, but she had the best photo. Crazy that they're saying she's late in the game. She's literally 26. Like, <laughs> they're like, you are 80 years old to us. Okay, let's look at Elisa's photo. I mean, God bless her. She's trying to kneel down in heels like this. She must be in pain. That that just and and it's freezing. I feel for her. Are you naturally that thin, or is that something you've worked towards? No, I'm naturally this thin. I love it. I'm not so against thin. Um, if it's natural. Well, you have no you have no body fat on you, so there's no insulation. It's a little bit thin for me. Thank Thanks. you. There's a lot of comments on the girl's appearances and body in this in this judging. It's it if I were a model on cycle one, I think my self esteem would be at an all time low. There's no way I'm having confidence on this show. <laughs> no way. Robin. Robin's fantastic. Robin's out as far as I'm concerned about being a supermodel. No. What? Absolutely not. This girl, this girl not. Not well, that's my, that's my I think humble. We're Why? Because I think a next America's top model is not a plus size model. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. I like Robin. She's near perfection. I just wish her upper body was bigger and matched her lower body better. Elise. I honestly, this is, I honestly, I cannot believe what's, did she say she doesn't want America's next top model to be a plus size? I don't even know what to say. I'm going to I want to hear your comments on this because this is this is like I know I said this was much worse, but this is much much worse than I ever expected it to be.
it's crazy to see the standards of modeling during, especially during this time, where they were just so open about, you know, making comments on people's bodies and weights. And it's so, it's very, very, I'm just going to say it's very interesting, to say the least. Shannon is very commercial. She's a pretty girl, but she doesn't add any fun or creativity to the shoot. Tessa. I mean, yeah. the, f the photo shoot was not fun or creative to begin with, <laughs> Tyra. They're, but they bl again, again, here we have them blaming the models. It's so easy to blame the models. But I will tell you, as a photographer, I look at other photographers' work. We don't say, oh, the model did a bad job. We say, oh, the photography is not good. So that's just, that's just what I'm telling you guys. Ebony moved better than the oh, model did. Yeah. I've only been here for a week. Eight. Only a week. week. And one must go. I love after all the insults, the criticism that they have given these girls, Tyra brings, she recaps the entire thing by saying, well, they've only been here a week. Only a week. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's, see, that's, but that, see, that's where, that's what you should have considered. I always talk about life as a photographer, working with development and models and all those things. And I actually have a website where I have all my work. It's using today's sponsor, Squarespace. I absolutely love their platform. I have all my photos there. I show clients my work there and agencies. So that's kind of where my photography lives. And I recommend Squarespace as a platform for any photographer starting out or anyone creative or anyone wanting to start a business or a brand online. It's super easy to use. They have amazing templates that you can customize easily. There are drag and drop features. You can have a availability an availability calendar if you want people to see when you're available to book you. They have so many great features. And the number one thing for me is that it's easy to use. And it's all in one. You never have to download plugins and update things. They take care of all of that for you. And if you do have any problems, they have 24-hour customer support. So you can actually try a free trial with Squarespace by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. You can use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. Is Tyra going to do the, I only have one photo in my hands. What did they do for the first episode? Okay. All right, ladies. In my hands, she are nine does. Photos, and these nine photos represent the nine women that will go into the next round to possibly become America's next top model. Can Ebony please come forward? Ebony, you're still in the running to become America's next top model. Okay, good job. So that's what we're doing. That's Ebony's. cute. This is a little bit more. She has them come up. And then she, she, then she tells them. Congratulations. This is kind of awkward though, right? You're still in the running to become America's Next Top Model. Thank you. So are you the gonna give her the picture? I'm gonna call. It's Adrian. The one thing that the judges like about you is that you represent the majority of women in America. Congratulations. I only have one photo. That left. was so okay. <laughs> the, this is like so quick cut. It's like you represent the majority of the women. And I'm, okay, and then I have one photo. I'm like, this is okay. We're it's a little quick, little fa a bit fast paced, but right. The name that I do not call, you will be eliminated immediately and must say goodbye to your roommates. Shannon. You're still in the running to becoming America's Next Top Model. Okay. This is a very different vibe from the... She See, I actually prefer this, where she doesn't do the whole speech. We have beautiful ladies standing before me. You're so beautiful, and you just have a beautiful soul, but, you know, in person, you lose your soul. And I don't know where your soul is or if it even wants to be here or if it wants to be in this competition. So... You need it, but you do need a soul. I do prefer Tyra just getting to the point. Did I think it was worse than I thought it was going to be? Absolutely. 